Opkey's build we've been working on. Um, so first of all, some, some, a couple updates, I guess, to the swap first mate, try to sort of fix up the timing and scheduling on like the alert. So, um, feel free to ask about the project or, uh, get an invite to the discord, stuff like that. Uh, just by throwing some exclamation points in the chat, it'll sort of give you the details from the bot. Um, and then other than that, I wanted to sort of go over <laughs> just regular exclamation points. Yes. Exclamation points in the chat. Okay, we've got um, a new competition. It actually came out before our last stream, and I literally didn't hear about it somehow. Um, so for those of you who are new to the channel, we do developer competitions whenever we see them that are applicable to what we build here. Um, so we've done uh, a previous Alexa one and then a Spokestack one as well for the Export to Independence, Independence Contest. Um, and as a team, we're pretty good. We make some pretty dope apps, uh, some cool voice apps and stuff like that. Uh, and give ourselves a pretty good chance of winning some money. Um, and then basically what we do on the channel is whenever we win a prize, we donate um, at least half of it, depending on what it is, to some applicable charity based off what we build, as well as some of my favorites. Um, so Amazon just announced the new Alexa Conversations uh, competition where they're giving away over $100,000 in prizes. Now, that's not a $100,000 grand prize. Uh, that's total prizes they're giving away over $100,000 in value. Um, so I wanted to sort of take a look at this. I haven't looked much into it other than what the prize amounts are because I'm a filthy sellout. Um, so I wanted to sort of go through this with everyone and then basically talk through some of the ideas. Now, I, I assume that it's for the new feature that was just announced called Alexa Conversations that just hit beta. I guess it was announced like a year ago. Um, when it went into initial preview, but now it's in like actual public beta uh, So we can have access to it for any of the skills we're building So that's my assumption anyway We went over that a little bit in a previous stream where we talked about the new features that were announced at Alexa live But we'll get into it as well when talking about this competition um, So basically as we're reading through this uh, I want us to sort of just think of some ideas what we can build on stream of course and basically whatever idea we go with whoever comes up with it um, I'm going to let choose the charity of their choice to donate some of the money to on top of some of our go-tos. Um, so whatever charity you want to um, send money to, assuming we win something, uh, we'll, we'll sort of coordinate that uh, outside of chat. But basically, come up with ideas, and if we end up following through with it and winning something, uh, you get to choose where to send some of that money. And I swear if you say it's your own charity for yourself or it's something super messy, uh, it's not going to happen. So... Uh, still has to be something <laughs> actually nice out there. Okay, so let's go over this. This is the Alexa Skills Challenge Alexa Conversations. Um, Rescue Inc. would be a great one. Yeah, you got to come up with the idea that we win, though. <laughs> uh, so, thrilled to announce the Alexa Skills Challenge for Alexa Conversations with DevPost. An opportunity to invent the future of voice experiences and compete for more than $100,000 in prizes. Uh, participants will gain first-hand experience using Alexa's artificial intelligence to create natural skill experiences with less training data and code. Now this is funny because this is what I do all day every day uh, with Voiceify. So what a coincidence that we get to use a new tool to actually figure it out and win some money. Uh, so start building with Alexa Conversations Beta today and submit your challenge entry by September 14th. So that's our deadline. Uh, we've got to come up with... <laughs> You come up with the idea and build it, and I'll pick the charity. Sound fair? <laughs> okay. Oops, misread. Oh, no. Just ink, just ink, not rescue incels. <laughs> Global contestants are welcome. Uh, see contest rules, but qualifying skills must be published in the ENUS locale. How convenient that I live in the United States and only speak English. Uh, so we're, we're in the clear there. This isn't like a German contest, which they have run before. Posture check. My posture's fine. I just started. Please. I gotta fix my my pillow. Um, my back pillow's kind of sunk in. Is that why? Okay, now you're just wasting money. <laughs> Spend your pirate points somewhere else. Okay. Uh, invent the future of natural voice experiences. Customers have purchased over 100 million Alexa-enabled devices and more than 750,000 developers have started building voice experiences. I... I'm curious about that number. Does that mean like that's how many different skills or accounts they've made? Because like on my own, I have like 10 different developer accounts with Amazon spread across like different organizations and stuff. And then like 
my like support accounts with Voiceify have like hundreds, like for customers and partners and stuff. So I don't know what this number is, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. Yeah, and and of course, Executioner has ten thousand. So nice try, Amazon. Seven hundred and fifty thousand developers. A serial entrepreneur, Mark Cuban, said this classic quote. I see this literally every single time I am talking to anybody in the voice space. There's like, well, Mark Cuban said that the future is in ambient computing and voice activation. Like, that, I feel like they've been writing that quote for like three years. Uh, Until now, building a skill that could handle language variations and unpredictable dialogue paths means just literally building it on Voiceify. Uh, managing tens of thousands of possible permutations manually or building for just a few and compromising on the customer experience. I mean, I assure you that we solved that like two and a half years ago. Uh, but this will be an interesting new way to do it for Alexa with even less work on my end. So the Alexa Conversations beta lets you leverage Alexa's artificial intelligence to create this training data and manage the dialogue for you, simplifying your code and allowing customers to speak more naturally. Your customers can have comfortable back and forth conversations and you can focus on the APIs that make your experience shine. Developers who publish their skills in this contest will gain experience building with one of the most advanced Alexa voice technologies to date and be at the forefront of emerging AI-driven voice interactions that enable totally new experiences. Alexa Conversations Beta is available in the ENUS locale. So um, I got into the preview for this a little while ago, and like they change it a little bit from kind of honing in on the scope of what it's trying to be. Um, originally, it was also trying to like lift the scope outside of your skill and also like allow for cross-skill stuff. It seems like they seem to kind of uh, it kind of rolled that back a little bit, and now it's really just around enabling more natural conversations within your skill. So they make some very good points here, though. Uh, building a skill to handle that would make tens of thousands of permutations, like that's totally true. When we go to like the um, let's see here, if we go to let me just make sure I log into the right account here. Change user, sign out. I think it's on this account. Hold on one sec. We'll get this set up. I want to just sort of show you, like, without doing Alexa conversations, there's, like, a lot you have to worry about. So, for example, right, we've got swap keys. So, for every, like, thing a user can do or say, you have an intent and a bunch of utterances. And, like, you have to manage those manually outside of the ones that Voiceify uses to automate stuff. Like, if we go to our press key intent, like, if we wanted to think of every single way we wanted to let a user press a key we'd have to like manually enter every single one of those in as an utterance so the the whole idea of the entire feature of alexa conversations is to enable like basically providing a script and starting to handle like the dialogue management and the conversation flow uh more easily and automatically so like instead of having to think of every slot value and every like thing you have to manage along the way um it just sort of handles that for you and automatically generates your interaction model and dialogues and everything else. Uh, I haven't seen it in action since it got into beta, uh, so we'll see. But let's talk about the important stuff here before we actually dig into the feature a little bit. Available prizes, some fat prizes in here. Uh, so the finalist and grand prizes, 10 finalists will be chosen to take home $5,000 cash prize. Of the finalists, one grand prize winner will be chosen will receive an additional, oh, I didn't even see that when I was first looking, an additional $20,000 cash prize. So in theory, the the super duper winner um, is walking away with $25K. Um, I assume that's, that's the gist of the additional bit. Uh, bonus prizes, participants who are eligible to receive an additional $2,000 bonus cash prize for the best skill in each of the following categories. Uh, best food and drink skill. Build a skill that helps customers with food-related tasks such as meal planning for a special diet or ordering takeout or a mixology skill. See, this is, Kenzie, are you watching? This is what I was talking about. We we're going to build a bartender skill because that's what I'm really good at. That's that's in the list. We'll be up and running for the, the best food and drink skill. <laughs> We've got the best travel and transportation skill. Build a skill that helps customers plan a trip, including help with reservation and tickets. This is pretty brutal because most people can't travel right now. Uh, for example, a camping trip complete with campsite and a rental car reservation or help find local public transportation options. Best productivity skill, help customers find, set, and modify appointments, activities, or tasks. For example, a skill that can help weekend help plan weekend activities by browsing local events and venues. Um, 
adding them to a customer's calendar. Score Canadian passport skill. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have like, all right, we just need your social security number and your birthday, and then we're gonna need a picture of you uploaded to this URL. You'll receive an update within 20 or so days uh, in the mail, and uh, then you can actually use the rest of the skill. It's like account linking on steroids. Best education and reference skill. Build a skill that helps customers use voice with learning applications. For example, use an API to navigate and visualize your own data or a public data set like CDC data, NOAA weather data, or NASA space data. Send me 10 Bitcoin, I'll send you 20. Oh no, <laughs> the Elon Musk skill. Best game skill. Build a game skill such as an escape room that lets customers explore and solve puzzles through conversation. This is an interesting one because it doesn't require us to really do much outside of like our own creativity best wild card skills help customers do something outside these categories there are so many public apis to choose from is that the gist of it like we have to use someone's api best alexa conversations what, what if we build like one for each category can we submit like just a, an absolute shitload of skills <laughs> can we just get like a ton in there maybe we will i might look that up otherwise if we have to submit the best one that's going to be a tough choice Best Alexa Conversations audio skill. Build a skill with rich audio soundscapes using the APL for audio beta feature to manage and mix audio files. For example, hear a rainstorm in the background of a weather skill and add exciting sound effects to a game. Best Alexa Conversations visual skill. Basically make it look good. But like these two have nothing to do with like the category of it. So like can I could I win audio skill and food and drink? The dog tur skill. Ask common questions about your pet to determine common diagnoses, Z's, or if you should go to your local vet. I do really like that. We were talking about that earlier too. Like, my dog's throwing up. What's in the barf? Is there grass? They probably just ate a shitload of grass. Stop them from eating grass. Uh, certification prizes. Eligible participants will receive $50 Amazon gift card for publishing a brand new or updated skill that includes Alexa um, conversations. Cat tur. That doesn't work well. <laughs> The problem is with uh, names like that for the invocation name is that Alexa is never going to understand what you're saying. Like, dog tur, uh, it's going to have no idea what that means. Uh, it's going to think we're probably saying doctor. Gerbil. <laughs> I read this gerbilator. <laughs> I'm only good with dogs. These other animals are way out of my league. Uh, anyway, we get $50 Amazon gift card. Participants from outside the U.S. will receive cash equivalent. Limit 300 participation prizes, one per participant. So is it like first 300 to submit something? Meal prep skill, yeah. Uh, generate nutrition meals that last a good while on budget. We also talked about like a what's what to make for dinner skill, like tell it what you have in the fridge and then basically get recommendations for recipes. I've talked to a few people about that outside of it, but like if we can find an API that like has that data and can do recommendations, like if I say I've got tortillas and beans but also like i don't know ice cream or something and they go like well the best thing is probably to just make a burrito um but that could be interesting uh let's see how to enter i already signed up by the way perhaps a roulette wheel that recommends local restaurants for delivery meals <laughs> just shout out kenzie <laughs> only recommends vegan food we could have like a vegan dinner version uh that way we can get some of the uh the vegan game people from the community I joined to, to help us out too. Um, okay. To see James, yeah, yeah, dinner spinner, no. Uh, select winners will have a chance to be interviewed by David Spitsky uh, on Alexa Dev Chat. Um, I gotta try to get on that anyway. Okay, how to enter, sign up a dev post, we did that. Then build a scale including it and submit it to dev post. We'll announce the finalists in late October, late September, and winners in late October. It's gonna take a month to choose the winner from the finalists. All right, September 14th, that's our date. Mark your calendars. Uh, we're not gonna start working on something yet. I wanna sort of put like a ton of ideas on the board, and then we can bring chat to a vote uh, to figure out what we're gonna build, I and mean, maybe we can have a few uh, options. Yeah, September's the best month. Um, and uh, there's some other stuff here, but basically, like, the gist of the feature, like if we go to swap keys, which to be clear too, swap keys is not a good example of when we would want to do that. Um, let's see. Oh no, I didn't want to click that. It's like interfaces, Alexa conversations, right? So like if we turn this on, um, oh, how come? 
swap keys isn't so swap keys just isn't very conversational the whole point of uh, Alexa conversations is to basically take like all of the like how why I said because it's my birthday month and our anniversary month that's why it's good you happy now so swap keys anyway I still want to explain this anyway Alexa conversations is not a very good feature for for swap keys or swap keys really isn't a good application for Alexa conversations because uh, the whole point is like you basically just feed it sample dialogues and it like can generate the model for it but like there aren't, isn't a dialogue to swap keys it's like just smash the key or the command you want and it will do the thing and then you just do that as many times as you need to um so really it's things that are are meant to be like goal oriented that's why if you look at like all of the competition stuff that they list in like in each of these categories it's always just like help a user get to this point or help a user find this thing right their goals and it's a type of conversation design called goal oriented designs um and basically we the the goal of swab keys is to smash a virtual keyboard by yelling at alexa instead uh and you only have to do that with one command there's no there's no conversation to get there. there's no like questions that Alexa needs to ask us. Like if I say, Alexa, press, uh, I don't know, what, what keys do you got? What, what keys can you press? And then it's like, well, here are all the keys on the keyboard that you can give. And also here are all the macros you made earlier. Like it's, it's just not going to be a good sort of use of, of the Alexa conversations feature, which is a shame because like I think that Swap Keys is still probably the dopest idea I've ever had for an actual voice app. So... Uh, keep these categories in mind. We'll, uh, I'm going to throw them in the Discord too, which reminds me, plug, join the Discord. Get an exclamation point Discord in the chat to get an invite link. Um, and come join, because this is where we're going to talk about this stuff off stream. This isn't all dedicated to only talking about on stream. There you go. Oh, you got two of them. Weird. Oh, you both said it. I was like, what the heck? Um, slap that, that link. Uh, join the Discord. <laughs> and... Uh, um, let's talk through these ideas. We'll, we can just throw it in the general chat or like the project ideas channel or something like that uh, when you join. So we'll we'll leave it at that. Um, let's come up with some ideas. We'll get a whole bunch together, and then maybe by Sunday or next Wednesday, depending on where we are with swap keys, we can figure out what we're gonna build. Because basically, like if it's gonna be a super complicated skill that we want to go with, then we want to make sure we give enough time to it so we can basically put some of the swab key stuff on hold and do the competition as long as we get stuff done by September 14th. Ideally by September, right? So it's like, say we got the month of August, that's four weeks. We got eight streams where we can build stuff. The next stream is already August. So say seven streams of building things. Uh, if we can get an idea put together and get swab keys in a good enough place to sort of hold it or, or do a balance of both, uh, we can see which one we need to jump on when and, and sort of get the timing down. So join the discord let's toss some ideas around there uh regardless of whether you come up with the idea in chat here or, or in in discord um i'll stick to that plan of whoever chooses the thing we build or whoever comes up with the thing we build and if it wins any money we'll we'll let you choose where to donate some of that money to um and that's that's it let's um take a second pivot away from alexa stuff and now well i guess it's still alexa stuff we're still going to be using alexa but uh, let's get back to swab keys. Um, so where we left off on swab keys is that we've got our Xamarin app, right? We have our actual end client app now, um, and we can start to account link so we can sign into it. We can also sign into the Alexa skill. 